Code to Enhance Learning presents the CEL video series for creating apps in Thunkable. Through this video series, we aim to introduce you to the world of creating your own apps through platforms like Thunkable. Hello everyone, I am Ayush Shankaran, an enthusiastic coder and a regular CEL hackathon participant. I will be your host for today. Welcome to the third episode of the series Guess the Number. In the last episode, we learned how to make an app to calculate the body mass index. Do you like games? A lot of us like games, right? Did you know that games can also be used to learn and have fun at the same time? One of the areas where students in lower grades struggle is to compare numbers. Shall we try to make an app which can help the younger students to learn the numbers better in a fun manner? I am very excited to build Guess the Number app. Are you? Today, we will make a guessing game where the user has to guess a random number chosen by a computer within a given range. Let us look at the demo of the project that we are going to create. I am going to make use of a ready project for the demo. We have to guess a number in the range of 1 to 10. Let me guess the number 5. It tells me to guess higher, so I am going to guess the number 7. It seems like I have gotten the uh, correct number. So let us try again. Okay, I'm going to start off with the number 3. It tells me to guess higher. So I am going to guess the number 9. It tells me to guess lower. So I'm going to guess the number 4. Uh Uh-oh, it seems like I have not been able to get the correct number. Now, how is this app going to help the player to compare numbers better? Let us take a look at the workflow or the logic that we are going to apply. The application will randomly generate numbers in the given range when the app is made to run. If the number guessed by the player is matching the number randomly generated by the app, the player gets a congratulatory message for the right guess. If the number guessed is lower, then the player is prompted to guess higher. Here, the player needs to use his or her knowledge of number comparison. Similarly, if the number guessed is higher, then the player is prompted to guess lower. Here, the player again needs to use the knowledge of number comparison. You can give the player as many attempts as you wish. I will be restricting myself to the range of 1 to 10 with 3 attempts. Let us start by designing the prototype of the app. Before making it in Thunkable, we will create a draft in a notebook. As we need the player to guess the number as the input, I am using the component text input to enter the guess value. The button component will be used as an event to check whether the number generated and the number guessed are the same. There are three labels which we will be placing at different places, one for the title, the other to tell the user if his or her guess is greater or lower and the third to check how many guesses are remaining. Let us come to task 1. Here you can pause and create your own prototype for the guess the number in your notebook. You can also build on the idea and add your own features after making the draft. I have designed the app like this in Thunkable. The text input allows users to type in anything they want, such as words, passwords, or numbers. Here are the properties 
of the text input. We can add a hint here. The hint added is to guess the numbers between 1 to 10. I have also added a button named guess. I have also added three labels, one for the title, one for the guesses and one to say if the number is higher or lower. Apart from these, we will also be adding one more new component which is the alert component in this app. Alerts are useful components for displaying important messages while users are in the app. We can find the alert component under app features which is in the blocks panel. Let us see how to create alerts. I will switch to the blocks tab and under app features you will see alerts. I'm going to click on this plus and I will see a new alert opening. I am going to rename this alert and call it loose alert. I can give it a title and I can also give it a message and then I can submit it. Similar to the loose alert I have created one more alert which is the win alert. With this it brings us to our task 2. Create the design of the app in Thunkable as per your prototype. Now I will go to the block section to write the code. I will initialize the variables for our project. By going to the variables tab, I will pick out this block to initialize the first variable guesses remaining I will set the value of this variable to be 3 now I will initialize a new variable from the variables tab and name it secret number The original value of this will start to be 0. This value will change over time in our project. This brings us to task 3 where you have to write codes for the application to do the following things when the screen opens. Generate a random number to be guessed. Set the values of component to default values. Now we will see what happens when the main screen opens. When the main screen opens, we will set the value of secret number to be a random integer from 1 to 10. We will also set the value of guesses remaining to be 3. The text in the label guesses remaining will be equal to the guesses remaining variable. We will also set the high or low labels text to be a default text. And the enter guess label will also be set to a default value. As we know, the player's response will change with every guess till the right guess is reached or the maximum attempts are exhausted. There are some conditions to be checked before we tell the user whether they are successful in their attempts. Therefore, we will be using conditional statements like if else which can be found under controls in the core section. So we go to the core section and click on control. You will see that we have if and else statements here which we will be using. Let us understand a bit more about conditionals. Conditionals are expressions that evaluate to either true 
or false. In our daily lives, we come across conditions regularly. We all play with our friends daily, right? In the rainy season, we will check to see if it is raining before we go out to play. If it is raining, we will play indoors. If it is not raining, we will play outdoors. This is a perfect example of using conditions in real life. Now let us look at one more example from the code below. If the input value of the text input is 3, which is less than 5, the result of the statement would be true. Thus, the do part of the program will get executed and the label's text will display number is less than 5. Suppose the text input is 7, which is not less than 5. In this case, the else part of the program will get executed and the label's text will display number is more than or equal to 5. Let me show you how we can use these conditional statements in our app. We know that when the entered value matches the random number, we have to congratulate the player, right? So when the guess button is clicked, we check if the guess entered is the same as the secret number. If this condition evaluates to true, we call the win alert, which then alerts the user that he or she has won the game. We also hide the remaining guesses, reset the guesses remaining to zero and set the label text to empty. What should we do if the guess value does not match the secret number and if the statement would evaluate to a false? This brings us to task 4. In task 4, we write the codes for the application to do the following things when the screen opens. We need to check whether the guess number is greater than or less than the random number generated by the application and according to that we have to give a hint to the user. We will be using the else if condition after the if condition to handle the cases where the number guessed is lower or higher than the secret number in our project. To add these else if parts of the block, we click this blue color button and then we can drag this else if under the if so that we can get an else if part here. If you want more of these, you can keep dragging how many ever else if statements as you need. In the first else if statement, we will check if the guess number is greater than the secret number. If this condition evaluates to true, we will prompt the user to guess lower. We also reduce the guesses remaining by 1 and display in the text box.
we also set the text input to blank value. Similarly, we can check if the input is lower than the random number. Then we can prompt the player to guess a higher number. The codes for this is going to look as below. Finally, if the player is unable to guess and re the number of guesses reaches zero, we will call the loose alert to display a message that will display the game is over. Now let us test the code that we have written. So let me just guess a number. Uh, let's take 6. It tells me to guess lower. So I'm going to guess the number 4. It tells me to guess lower again. So I'm going to guess the number 1. And I have lost. And the program works. So that's our program, which is working perfectly fine. Try using this app to teach your younger friends and siblings and help them to learn number comparison in a fun and entertaining way. We hope you enjoyed making this simple game application with us. Here's a short quiz to refresh your understanding. Which design component allows the person using your app to type in anything that they want such as words, passwords or numbers. Pause the video and try to guess the answer. The answer option is A. Text input. In the next episode, we will be creating another game called the memory game. Till then, stay tuned. This is Ayush signing off. Bye.